Hey, what's up? My name is PJ, and in this short video, I'm going to show you how to add a little bit of sparkle to your portraits. Hope you enjoy. So I've been sitting here working away, doing some edits from a shoot that I had last weekend, and I thought I would share this quick little tip. I've probably had this sort of thing in videos before, but I thought I would just make a video all on its own, um, showing you what to do to... Yeah, add a little pop, a little bit of punch, a little bit of sparkle to your photos. Here we go. So let's have a look. This is a photo of Mitch from a band called Apollo on Fire. Just have a look at the skin. So shape the face, um, highlights in the hair, sharpen the details, even in his tattoos. You can see there's some, some nice detail coming in down here. So let's just go through that quickly. I'll hide this group. Let's duplicate the background layer twice with command J. What we're going to do is, first of all, I would either grab the stamp or the healing brush and just clean up the face a little bit. Mitch has got very clean skin and he's got some makeup on as well, so his skin looks pretty much flawless here, but we might just smooth out some of the little lines. So grab the patch tool, it's often under the spot healing brush, and let's just grab a couple of these, circle around them, and then just find a clean spot on of the skin just to make it nice and smooth and even. This is totally not necessary, but I like to do it sometimes. Oops, that was no good. I like to do it sometimes just to, uh, yeah, just to smooth it out, make it look a little bit, a little bit more polished. So that's actually, that's not too bad. If I was getting picky, I might grab some of these faint lines here, patch them, but that doesn't really matter, won't notice too much. Okay, the next step is you're going to grab the dodge tool. So it's the keyboard shock at his O. Grab the dodge, we're gonna go to mid-tones, exposure set to probably three or four percent, and we're gonna go over the prominent areas of the face, where the light hits, where we wanna shape, so above the eyebrows, Add some shape into the brow along the ridge of the nose. Fill in these areas here a little bit. Anywhere where there's light and it's just a little bit, there's a little bit of texture, you can just, oops, you can smooth it out a little bit. And just, it's almost like contouring like you would with makeup. This is actually a little rough down here, but that doesn't really matter for this example. So, Go over it carefully, not too carefully, don't have to be too careful, it doesn't matter. But um, put a bit of shape into the face this way. Let's check out before and after. Pretty good. Alrighty, and then the next thing is the opposite. So underneath the dodge tool, again, it's keyboard shocker O. Oh. Underneath the dodge tool, you're gonna go with the burn. Same thing, mid-tones, exposure 4%. Let's just keep shaping the face, but we'll do the opposite. The shadows on the face, let's smooth them out with the burn. And yeah, just contour the face a little bit. Similar to makeup, we can add some shape to the lips here. A little bit in the cleft of the chin. Maybe a bit on the other side of the nose too. A bit of shape, make Mitch just that little bit more handsome, even though he is very handsome already. Looks pretty good. Very nice. So the last thing that I would do with the, let's grab the dodge tool again. So keyboard shortcut is O. So the highlights in the hair, the white areas in Mitch's black hair, oops, zoom in. Over dodge. The highlights, let's go over those with the dodge. Dodge them out a little bit. Again, we've got mid-tones in the range, exposure set to 4%. Let's just bring out these highlights a little bit just to add some good con contrast. And when we do a sharpen in a second, it will just bring it right out. So again, do it quickly. Don't have to be too careful. Dodge those highlights in a little bit. Kind of looks weird close up, 
but from a distance it'll make sense and okay cool so the last thing that I would do is we're going to sharpen the eyes we're going to sharpen the hair all these nice textures and colors in the tattoos and the jewelry we can really make them pop so let's duplicate that background again we're going to add a go to filter other high pass we're going to do around three to four pixels for a nice fine contrast change that blend mode to soft light and you can probably see now that's sharpened everything everything is extra sharp and pointy it's a bit too sharp so with this little mask icon here hold down option alt or option on a mac click that and it's going to create a layer mask fill it in with black then with our brush tool selected opacity and flow at 100 percent with a white brush let's just paint in on that layer mask where we want that sharpening to be. Have a look at the difference in the eyes. Yep, perfect. Let's do the lips. Let's do the jewelry and the tattoos. You can probably zoom out a bit for this. Anywhere that there is some detail, give that a quick sharpen. The jewelry down here, right into the hair. Lots of texture there. That comes out really well. We can do the fingernails as well. All this stuff, anything that you want to accentuate in the photo, even the shine of those pants, the logos here. I would probably even do the couch. It would just give, like I said, a little bit of extra polish to the photo. Anything shiny comes out really well. We can do the, the lamp here. Yeah, but that's pretty much it. So let's do a quick before and after. Oops. I don't know how well it'll come across on YouTube, but you can see it's just, just really takes it up a notch. The analogy that I kind of give is kind of like, if you, if you put it in music terms, it's like, uh, you know, the the editing of the photo is like mixing and the retouching is kind of like mastering. So just fixing up the skin, giving it a little bit of extra polish. I've just done a really quick job here um, and I would normally be a lot careful. And there's a few other things that I would do to this photo in the retouching as well. But as you can see from a distance, it just really gives it that next level of polish. It just gives it some sparkle and especially if it's going to be sent to a designer or for print or something. I think that is when this sort of thing would be fully appreciated. Very cool. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did and you learned something, give me a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.